<laughs> okay, we are back at it again for part three, Lucas. Part yeah. three? Part three of the little one wheel peel yard cart build. Uh, first, we're going to install the motor and try to work on the throttle cable and see where we get from there. Mike's supposed to be showing up here in a little bit. And we'll see if he shows up or not. Well, that kind of felt a little bit tippy. I'm going to put the locks on the wheels. Three of the four motor bolts ready. Find another one here in a minute. I wouldn't have to find more motor bolts if Mike was here. Wrestling around with the tips of my fingers in here. Third one in, run the chain, get the placement right, find the fourth one. Sounds like a plan. I thought I heard Dave from it. There we go. Did I really put the lock washer on top? <laughs> and I guess it wouldn't hurt, but I'd like to have uh, you know the pressure right there on the nut so it doesn't pull or start to loosen. Right, there's three out of four. Let's find the fourth one. This is pretty long too. <laughs> I don't think we'll need it that long, but we'll loop it. There we go. All right, we are repurposing a little bit of the throttle cable on here. I like the way they have it in a rod to a um, cable like that. That's how we're going to use it. We're going to have to repurpose it a little bit, make some bends and cuts. So I'm going to do that on this end instead of that end. This has got the nice fancy uh, aluminum locker piece here, thread it on. We're going to cut this off and make some bends and put it on the little go-kart here. All right. Trying to figure out where we're going to put it here and what type of bend we're going to need. Alright. I think 
connecting right there. We start our bend right there. Hey, you know what? We just might use this to bend it. Fancy hole in the table. You know, you never really notice how much you say something like fancy until you name your go kart channel and nothing fancy. <laughs> then you notice it. Let's see what we got here. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. I like it. No, just leave that there for a few. Oh, it's gonna be in the way. Yeah. Come around to the front, you can probably see me better here. Just trying to get an angle where I can look away. Just trying to move it without breaking it. There we go. That's a much better tack. Straighten her out for all the rest of the way. Hard to see in there. Let me pull the cart forward. Yeah, pull the cart forward just a little bit, please. <laughs> Good.
right, we're welding together a little throttle cable holder. The throttle cable will go through. This will be the tab to the frame. We'll drill a tiny little baby hole through here that the cable will actually go through. And that'll be our stopper for our throttle cable. Uh-oh. I turned the welder on. Trying to figure out how we're going to mount the throttle cable. We're not quite sure how we're going to do it yet. We're going to pause here, do some thinking on it, because this is a little bit different, this setup. We're trying to keep the governor on. It doesn't have a really good spot to mount to. We might have to weld something. We're going to put our heads together here and see what we come up with. And when we figure it out, we'll bring it back and show you how we build it. So we're sitting here making a flange for the breather and Mike's ruined another tool. Luckily he brought this tool over so it's not that big of a deal but this is what Mike does to your tools. Don't let Mike use your tools. Alright, alright, unplug it, unplug it. She's done, we gotta take that drill bit out. <laughs> alright, we get back in here when we got something done, show you guys what we're building. No, it was acting funny. Okay, we made a custom little air intake here. Here, you hold. I'm trying to tighten this down. Mike fashioned this up, cut the tube out, he welded them together, made this little flange. We're going to run a tube over to here and put the air cleaner box over here. And off of this steel, somewhere off of this steel, we're going to bring out for our throttle. Bring out a little tab and make another little stopper for the other end of the throttle cable. Should be good to go for a little test drive. We had a lot of running around to do today, so we're probably not going to get the brake installed on today. My son won't be going for a ride, but we can take it for a little test spin. Yeah, I like it, Mike. It's nice. Solid, clean, look really good after paint. Um, it doesn't look like it's welded right here, you guys. That's because Mike welded on the inside. So we could have room for our bolts here. Then he filed it down, perfect inside of the tube. So we don't get no air restriction. I think it should work pretty good. All right. All right, Mike's about to weld the little flange we made. It's a little bit big, but it'll be all right. Kind of curves with it there. We're going to tack weld it on, take it off, weld it all the way, and do some work onto it to get the throttle cable connected. Okay, we got the flange on there. We shortened it a little bit, rounded up the edges, made it look real nice. Now we have to put our throttle cable here we're welding up a little flange to hold that for a stopper. Then it'll pull the cable this way. Activate the cover. So we were going to test drive the little go-kart today. But as you can see, this is what I woke up to. So as soon as the snow melts, we will show you guys a test ride of the little yard cart. 